tell us a little bit about you. How did you, how did you get doing what you're doing? What's, what's been your journey? And then what are some of the, your areas that you're most passionate about in this space? Well, um, that's, uh, like a lot of people, my journey has had a lot of different paths and somehow maybe coming together here in my mid sixties, we'll see. Uh, but I, I started my academic life out anyway as a primatologist. Um, and uh, eventually... Okay, so uh, primatologist, I think you need to tell us what that means. I, I studied uh, primarily chimpanzees, pan troglodytes, uh, okay. at Yerkes Primate uh, Research Center uh, in Atlanta, and then later at Duke University. Um, and but eventually I moved into anth uh, cultural anthropology from that physical anthropology into things. And then uh, I went off into a, kind of a whole different, different world entirely. You know, this was the 70s. I, I went to India and did uh, cultural anthropology field work. I learned how to play some musical instruments over there. I began to import them into the United States and I started a music business so I know a lot of your listeners are in business, so I wanted to assure them I have been in business. <laughs> <laughs> I had the, the second largest musical retail uh, chain uh, in the country uh, by 1979. Wow. Uh, and the industry collapsed in, the, uh, in 1980. And my experience uh, during that uh, period dealing with lawyers and trying to figure out how to unwind the business uh, led me to think, well, any idiot could be a lawyer. So, well, here I, why not? <laughs> so I went to law school and uh, became a litigator. Mm. Uh, and as I was uh, litigating, I realized, well, from my business experience, I know that I can transact most of these disputes in some way or another, mm. that uh, we don't have to take all these things to court. In fact, litigators spend most of their time negotiating uh, disputes huh. and trying to resolve them rather than taking disputes to court. So I began working in an area called alternative dispute resolution. Uh, at, at the time, it was sort of a new wave sort of thing and begin uh, promoting that and uh, developing my skills in that as a mediator, that is a third party who comes in and intervenes in a dispute and helps the parties negotiate a solution uh, to their uh, uh, dispute. So uh, after mediating for a number of years and, and starting to teach mediation, uh, Georgia State Law School asked me to come on and uh, be a faculty member to teach their students how to be better lawyers by being better negotiators when they graduate. So I've spent uh, the last oh, almost 30 years uh, teaching uh, law students how to be better lawyers, better negotiators, and I think better people ultimately from that. Wow. Wow. So what makes, what makes me excited? Well, uh, I, I, it, that's very hard to say these days because in the current political climate, I don't want to get off into that. That's probably not of great interest to your listeners, but it, but it does seem very tense, the tribalism, the inability to resolve disputes. So that is discouraging because those people could do a lot better, uh, perhaps, uh, if they were interested in resolving their disputes, which frankly is not the case.